buying stuff, we don't have the purchasing power. Yeah, what I normally do, the tactics I have used so that I can do my hauls. So guys, I just thought that with a situation in most countries like Kenya, I should talk to you guys about savings or budgeting or such things. Like basically how I normally afford to buy stuff online, normally save in order to buy stuff for YouTube because you cannot just buy stuff yeah, and hoard it in the house and waste your money on it if you know what I mean. So welcome. So today I hope you're going to learn a thing or two or ten as a Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Actually, I come, I live in Kenya basically, and you know the economy of Kenya is not in the top 10 in the world at all. Is it even in the top 100? I don't know. I know that it's one of the fastest growing, but it's definitely like we have a long way to go. So buying stuff, we don't have the purchasing power, yeah? Or basically the general population, we don't have the purchasing power. Please don't come at me in the comment section like, we peke ako, am I you alone? You are the one who doesn't have purchasing power and such other weird things, you know. It's just the reality of things on the ground, eh? Vitu kwa ground. So most of us don't have the purchasing power um, to just buy stuff, you know, like stuff that is not food or the basic needs, food, shelter or clothing, you know. So um, I just thought that I'd do this video just to let you guys know that you can actually just save. I'm not saying that you'll be like me, no. But uh, what I normally do, the tactics I have used so that I can do my hauls, you know. Because some people might see these hauls and think, damn girl, you got cash. It's not real. It's not true. <laughs> but I'm going to show you exactly how I normally save up and yeah. So basically the first thing that I normally do is that make sure that you have a budget. Make sure that you have a budget. Even personally, I normally always have an allocation of how much I'm going to. For example, when I'm paid or whatever money you have, whether it's for business, whether you've been given, whether it's your allowance, if you're in university or in college or whatever the case. Whatever money you have, make sure that you budget for that money. So personally, what I normally do is that after I normally list things in priority, by the way, that is exactly what I normally do. I normally prioritize my stuff. I'm lucky enough to have been old enough to do accounting in high school. So I I, I, I know very many things about accounting. Yeah? So um, a thing, uh, <clears throat> so I normally prioritize my stuff. And the basic needs have to come first. Bills also have to come first. Yeah. So start with the basic needs. I mean, you won't be able to pay bills if you haven't eaten, honestly. So definitely basic needs come first. Food, shelter, whatever. Like food, shelter. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. And then now bills like electricity, what, what, what. Now, when I'm through with that, those basics, eh? when I'm through with all those, now the money that I remain with, I decide like, okay, a certain amount I'm going to do a haul for YouTube with, you know, get my drift, the remainder. So make sure you budget. You just don't go on AliExpress with your, let's say if your salary is 20,000, you receive your salary and the first thing you're going on AliExpress, online shopping is bad. You might end up purchasing things with all that money. Yeah. So that's what I normally do. The first thing is you have to budget. So the next thing that you actually have to do is that you actually have to, have to, have to, have to, have to DIY your stuff. Like, okay, that is what I normally do. I mean, there are some people who don't have to do that. Definitely. Very many people. But personally, what has made me save is that I DIY my stuff. Like you guys have watched me do my own meals. I do my own meals every single time. Every single time you see talons on this channel, talons, I've DIY them. Yeah, so that saves me money. I remember the last time I ever went to the salon for a manicure and a pedicure, I ended up paying 5,000 Kenyan shillings. 5,000. 
Kenyan shillings without being plated. It was just a manicure and a pedicure. And I remember vividly, it was like three years ago. And after paying that 5,000, I vowed never to go to the salon again to get my nails done. Yeah, call me stingy, call me what, but hey, we have to survive. So if you have the money, definitely well and good. Yeah, you know, you know, this video is basically for people who are trying to squeeze 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 here and there eh? so diy your stuff i normally do my own nails now let's not even go about diying here because <laughs> i'm also in that category so i can't even remember the last time i went to this okay yes i can remember i literally wash my own hair at home do my own cornrows do my own matutas do my own everything and then i buy wigs like you saw the last time I bought wigs. Oh, I did an AliExpress wig haul. Now, these wigs will stay with me then for years. Basically, because I just rotate them, wash them, rotate them, wash them, rotate them. So, um, and also, I never ever spend money on human hair wigs. I don't know. I think it's convenient and all, but mm, I just feel like, especially the fact that nobody is noticing even the hair, like, yeah, of course, these are not like the best types of wigs, but if you're saving, if you're on a budget, if you're on a budget, if you're on a budget, I think you should invest in wigs. So um, I DIY my own hair, as I've said. So you can imagine the people who normally go to like get their hair braided every month, every end month, and maybe pay like 5,000 Kenya shillings. I save that 5,000, basically. Yeah, I do. So um. At the end of the month, at the end of the year, you find like, I've saved like 12 times, maybe. If, for example, salon visits accounts for 5,000, you go for like two salon visits every month. And in those salon visits, you're spending like 5,000 or 4,000. Times two is like 8,000 to 10,000. Times 12 months, like 100K goes to the salon. So that 100K, I save it. Yeah, so basically at the end of the year, I have saved about 100K worth of salons and manicures, but still managed to look fabulous for you guys. So DIY your own stuff. Definitely that is also a trick you can do in order to save money. So personally, that's what I do. I budget for my money. I DIY where I can. <laughs> yeah, and then like, whatever remains i finally i'm just like okay let me buy some stuff for my people to see like this stuff exists out there you know other one is not really a tip i'm not telling you to move to where i stay but live in the village guys live in the village <laughs> move to the village <laughs> yeah but anyway this is just a point that i'm noting because it has helped me save money honestly i won't even lie like there's seasons you see in the village unlike towns and cities there's seasons for each and everything. I know even in towns and cities, there's seasons for everything. But things like tomatoes, I literally can buy a crate of tomatoes at 200 Kenya shillings. Like $2 a crate of tomatoes. $2! Like when it's in season, that is how much you'll get it at. Now cabbage, let's not even go there. Cabbages literally never exceed 10 shillings. Like if they do exceed, it will be 15 shillings. So you can imagine... Uh, what else? Fruits are that cheap and really good, like really, really good. Like you find mangoes, blah, 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 at 10 shillings strictly. They never go past that. So it helps. It helps to live in the village and everything is farm fresh. Yeah. And secondly, rent is that cheap. I personally moved out of a rental, thank God, but it was that cheap. It, it, it was cheap guys if i even tell you guys are going to be shocked you're gonna be shocked <laughs> like you'll be like is there rent like that so it doesn't hurt because you get to save and yeah so uh -huh. and also <laughs> living in the village there is no kfc there is no pizza in there is no stairs there's none none nothing of the sort you are going to make your own food which goes oh. to the another tip that has helped me although this one i was forced to do it because <laughs> i had no other choice 
is to cook your own food. Now, if, for example, you're in Nairobi or in another major city, maybe around the world or something of the sort, maybe you're in Accra, you're in Lagos and all that, cook your own food. Like, you'll save. You'll save. You'll definitely save. I'm telling you. Because if you're cooking, let's say, burgers, like, for the family, instead of buying, like, in KFC or whatever, like, Burgers that will total to about 3,000. If you just buy the ingredients, it will still be less than 1,000 Kenya shillings plus the cheese and all. So, you'll have saved. So, cook your own food. I was forced to cook my own food because there is no KFC in the village. There is no nothing, my friends. There is no even supermarket selling extravagant goodies. None. So, (laughs) you just have to like when you cook your own food, you save a lot, a lot. Like, avoid eating out, basically. Avoid eating out. Avoid eating out. I repeat, avoid eating out. That's how I've basically saved. In order to buy stuff like hauls, clothes, wigs, shoes, hair, blah, blah, blah. Chains like this one. Yeah. What else can I tell you guys? Because I'm just getting these things off the top of my head. I had prepared this video, but I can't seem to find where I had written because I'm just the kind of person who writes down stuff. But um, what other thing? Hmm, I'm trying to think like what I normally do that makes me afford to buy stuff online. Although the stuff that I normally buy is usually super cheap, affordable. We won't call it cheap, but super affordable. But I know the situation in Kenya. Some people might be like, where do you get all this guy? You're doing all these holes. Where, where, where? And I know I don't owe anyone an explanation, but I'm just trying to help somebody out there who might be trying to figure out how they can save money in order to maybe start a channel. You know, channels are expensive. You have to save up. You see, like me, I have to save up for um this beauty stuff i have to save up like for lipsticks makeup what clothes fashion nini shoes nini hair but there are even the people who do vlogs they have to save up to take you guys along with them to restaurants to safaris to international countries you know all those in fact their their vlogs are even more expensive than even beauty and stuff so in case you're like stuff what else do i normally do actually to save money idea um it appears i'm not that genius when it comes to like saving cash it doesn't help to also have a savings you can save in very many different forms you can save in circles you can save in savings accounts so it also helps you to save and once that money has reached the amount that you want it then you remove and use it for whatever purpose you want to do yeah so guys basically i can just tell you that living in the village is what has really really helped me to save a lot of money join me in the village if you're tired of the fast-paced city life that is sucking your bank accounts dry making you feel like a snail that has been salted yeah if that is how you're feeling join me in the village join me in the village guys it's fun here the air is fresh you see the way i'm fresh eh? The air is fresh. You don't have to wake up at 4 a.m. and godly hours to fight traffic full of pollution. No, you see the stars. There's no smog in the sky. I discovered Nairobi has smog, by the way. Only after I went to the village. When I went back to Nairobi, I discovered like I had never seen stars in Nairobi. Just take a good wild one night and just look at the sky. You'll see one or two stars. You'll see Venus and something else. But in the village, you get to see all the stars. The air is fresh. The food is fresh. The people are fresh. (laughs) Yeah, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. It was neither here nor there. But sometimes you have to help a sister out. You have to help a sister out. Don't help make a sister feel bad thinking you got all the money in the world. No. I'm just a person struggling like you guys. That's why I'm doing YouTube. So, mukiona na nunua halls, jua tu makucha zinaumia. Jua tu nyuere uku chini, ni kubaya. Jua tu nyuere uku chini, ni kubaya. So, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you in my next video. I truly appreciate you. I hope you also appreciate me by liking this video 
and uh, subscribing to my channel. If you like beauty, fashion, makeup, jewelry, huh? Nwere. You know all the good things that Kenyans like, eh? All those nice, nice stuff, eh? Follow me because I do nice hauls. Hauls the new Tashanga. Kama I chain, I bought it at 200 Kenya shillings. Can you imagine? Hmm? Can you? 200. And the way I look fabulous. This dress, I thrifted it. Hmm? Can you imagine? Would you have imagined? Would you? Tell me in the comment section <laughs> if you would have imagined. Yeah, but I'll see you in the next in the next video. Please don't hate. I don't like haters. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my other video that I normally post three times a day.